Okay, in this video, we are going to have a look at multitasking on the RP2040 microcontroller. And you can see I'm using the tiny 2040 board from Pi Moroni. It's about half the size as the Pico board. It's got the same circuitry, except it has a few less GPIO pins. But it has a few features I like. It has a reset push button, and then it has the boot push button. Now when you press and hold the boot push button and plug in the USB connector, the board looks like a USB flash drive. Then we could drag and drop a .uf2 file into the flash drive and it will run. Now after we've done that, the boot push button will become a user push button on GPIO 23. So we could use that as a user push button. So we could load McCrisp 4th, which is the fourth operating system on the 2040, and we'll run a multitasking uh, scheme. It will be cooperative type multitasking scheme in a round robin fashion where the task yields control back to the operating system so the task will hand down a baton to the next, next task in a round robin fashion. So we'll have four tasks running. The first one will be actually the operating system which is connected up to this FTDI module which is connected up to a computer running TerraTerm. So we'll have the serial port active. Then we'll have three LEDs and this one will flash at a slow rate. This one will flash at a fast rate. And this one we could toggle using the user push button. So every time I press the user push button this LED will toggle. So we have code that will toggle the push button and we have code for depouncing the switch. So we'll plug in the USB connector to the FTDI module and we'll power up the board and we'll run the multitasker. Okay, I have my FTDI module connected up to my computer which is running TerraTerm and the FTDI module is also powering the Tiny2040 board. So to enable the multitasker, I just type multitask on the keyboard, hit enter, and I'll do that, and then we'll see the, the three LEDs come to life. So there's the first LED, it's blinking slow, and the second LED is blinking fast, and the third LED, I could toggle it using the user push button, which is on GPIO pin 23. So every time I press the push button, you can see it's toggling the third LED. So I have code to toggle LED and code to debounce the switch. Now I can shut off the multitasker by, by typing single task on my, on, my, on my keyboard. Or I can shut off one at a time each task. I take, it out of the, I take it out of the round robin scheme. So we have total control now of the, of the tasks, the four tasks running. Now the, the, the first task, the operating system will always be running. But we, could, we have control over the three other tasks. Either turn them all off or one at a time. Okay, here's the pinout of the Tiny2040 board by Pi Moroni. And if you look at the very left, you can see the input voltage is 3 volts to 5.5 volts, which is the same for the Pico board. And I'm getting that voltage from the FTDI module, which is powering the board. Now I'm using three GPIO pins for the three LEDs. That's GP5, GP6, and GP7. And I'm using UART0 for my console. That's on GP0 and GP1. Now if you look at the bottom, you can see the, the push buttons. We've got the reset push button, and we've got the boot push button. Now the boot push button is on GP23, and we could use that as a user push button. Now the LED on board is a RGB LED. So the red LED LED is on GP18, the green LED is on GP19, and the blue LED is on GP20. And they're active low, so you need to drive them that's these pins low to turn on the LEDs. So on my code, I have these... Uh, uh, running high, the GP18 to 20, so the LED is off. So that's all we need to know to run Multitasker on the Tiny2040. Okay, here's the fourth code running on the RP2040 microcontroller to run our multitasking system. So the first thing we do, we configure GPIO pins 5, 6, and 7 as outputs, which you can see here, which are driving the three LEDs. So next we create our tasks. The first task is called blink.slow and then we create a task handler. And the first thing we do, we activate the task and we write our code. Now all code is in an infinite loop, so it's in, in between a begin and a gain word, which will make an infinite loop of our code. So pin 7 goes high for a second, then it goes low for a second, and does it over and over again to blink the LED slow. The next task is called blink.fast. And our handler, we activate the task and we do the same thing. We put our code in a begin and again loop, infinite loop. So pin 6 goes high for 300 milliseconds and low for 300 milliseconds over and over again. So it will blink the LED fast. So our next code, our next task, is called toggle.led. 
So here we activate the task, and this is our code. So this code will toggle the LED every time we press the push button on, on GP23. That, that's our, our push button, our user push button. So this code here debounces the switch, and this code here toggles the LED every time we press the push button. Now here we run all the handlers. Now all the handlers are running, so all we have to do is type multitask on our keyboard, and it will run these three tasks. Now all these three tasks are running in the, in the infinite loop. Only way to get out of it is to pass the baton to the next task, and to do that we use the word pause. Now pause is embedded in milliseconds, so it's already embedded in the time, in the, into the timing loops, but here I'm using it to get out of this, this uh, task for the next task. So all, all we have to do is, is type multitask, and all our, all our four tasks will start running. Okay, I have TerraTerm up and running on my computer, and it's connected to my tiny 2040 board. So we could have a look at the configuration of the GPIO pins. So go dot pins, and you can see pins 5, 6, and 7 are configured as outputs. Those are driving my three LEDs on my breadboard. Also pins 18, 19, 20 are configured as outputs. That's the RGB LED on board, the Tiny 2040. Now I wanted to turn them off, so remember they're active low. So if we look at the outputs, you can see the three, three ones there, that's the 18, 19, 20. So they're driving them high, that turns off the LEDs, the three LEDs RGB. Now that's not needed for the multitasker, I just wanted to turn off uh, those LEDs on the RGB. So next we'll look at the function. Now all the pins on this tiny 2040 board have multi-functions uh, pins. So we'll look at the, the functions. So GPIO pin 0 and 1 is the UART, so it's function number 2. So function number 2 means UART. Now all the rest of the pins there are function 5. That's GPIO, so they're configured as GP, GPIO pins. So next we'll start the multitasker. So we'll type multitask. So it started, so my LEDs are blinking right now. So if we look at the tasks, there's the four tasks, and there's the task addresses, and the next task, so when it hands the baton to the next task, there's the address of the next task, and there's the state of the tasks. Now all Fs means it's active, the tasks are active. So if I shut off a task, so I say, say blink, the blink slow, and we'll go idle. Now look at the tasks. You can see the very last one there. It's got zeros in the state. So I just shut off. I just shut off that task. The, the blink slow. So to bring it back, we go blink slow wake, and that will bring back. Bring back that task. We'll have a look at the tasks. You can see it's all F's there, so it's back. So we could turn off all the tasks. We turn them on and off, any one that we want. So it's pretty versatile. So that's basically how we could run the multitasker. Now I'm just touching on, on the capabilities, but this will get you going. Okay, so that's my little tutorial on multitasking on an RP2040 microcontroller. Now you could use the tiny 2040 board like I'm doing here, or you could use the Pico board. Now Matthias Koch, who has written the Chris Fourth, has ported it to many ARM microcontrollers, like this one here. This is the STM32F411, sometimes referred to as the Black Pill, and I've run the multitasker on this uh, ARM microcontroller. So go online and search for McCrisp on sor sourceforge.net, and you could download uh, McCrisp for uh, for a variety of ARM microcontrollers.